Welcome back everybody. We're here with one last, for now, Juggernaut Build-A-Figure Series, X-Men Wave, Iceman Unboxing and Review. This is the last Juggernaut Wave Build-A-Figure that I've been able to acquire recently for a phenomenal price because they're such a good price. How could I not open them? I'm just going to let... And plus the packaging is pretty beat up. I took the one that had the best, uh, best looking arm because there's no paint app on Iceman. So, uh, yeah. Let's get this thing open. Let's check out this figure. Apparently he's got some neat uh, spikes on the back or something. I don't know. Some people think it's cool. Some people think it's lame. I'm indifferent. Whatever the artist's interpretation is of the character, it's usually ha signed off by Marvel anyway. It's not like they just get to do whatever they want with this character. I almost dropped it. It would have knocked over the camera. It would have been disastrous. Let's open this figure. We got Kitty Pride, Phoenix, Jean Grey. We got Havoc waiting in the wings. We got some other figures to compare with. Let's get this guy out of here. Oh, I don't want to rip it. There we go. This one was in there pretty good. Don't know why. I'm always impressed with the size of these juggernaut pieces. That arm is ginormous. It's huge. It's bigger than his whole torso. All right, let's get Iceman out of the package. It's gonna get loud for a quick minute here. Get ready. Turn down your volume. So, initial impressions, the figure looks really good. I don't mind all this on the back. Does it come off? Oh my goodness, it looks like it comes off. Yeah. There's that hole from Havoc, the same hole. Is it the same sculpt? No, this one's got... Ooh, fancy. This one's got the, the double shoulders. Why does this guy have that and nobody else does? That is so weird. I'm so confused by that. So, hmm, it's interesting. Looking at the back, they don't even showcase that. So we'll put the spikes back on. I kind of wish this one came with some ice, with some kind of ice effects. Why does he have toes? Like, I get he needs fingers, but I don't understand why he needs toes. Anyway, that's neither here nor there. I do like the, the shoulders though, that's, that is super cool. There he is, there's Iceman. Looks up pretty good, looks down pretty good. Got some swivel there for some attitude. He's got the extra shoulders. You show off he's flexing. One open hand, one closed fist. He's got this pivot here, double jointed elbows. Oh, don't break on me. There. Show off his, his arms. Wrist has the full rotation that way. Same thing on this side. Ab crunch doesn't have the clicking sound. That, th that always throws me off when they have the clicking sound. Uh, hip pivot that way. Upper th thigh cut. Oof, this one's stiff. Upper thigh. Oh my goodness gracious. Something about this plastic. Oh man, that's tight. 
Up to thigh cut. Pretty good range of motion. Double knees on both sides. He's got the ankles up, ankles down, and ankle rotation. So, so far, of all of the figures that I've opened, this guy reminds me the most of Ultimate Spider-Man because they're pretty flexible. My only, I guess I wish this Spider-Man had this shoulder pivot in there. I think that's pretty awesome. But uh, as far as flexibility and posing goes, I, I don't know. Like, look at that. That gives you so much more range of motion and dramatic effect. I just love that. That is so cool. I wish all the figures had that. So I guess this guy uses his ice powers and then he can look threatening. What is he doing here? If I copy that pose. That, this one looks too blue. Like they, they did some frosting on this one. But we don't get that in this in this figure. Let's see why why is he kneeling? Point the toes. He's got the knee up. He's summoning some big ice thing. How are we doing here? Are we getting close? He's hunched over a little bit. It's serious. It's serious business. Whatever it is he's doing. Serious business. Got some attitude there. There we go. Alright, let's compare him to some of the other figures in the wave. Let's get him standing up straight. Let's compare him first to Havoc. Havoc? Havoc? Look at that, he's taller. Taller, not just from the spikes. He's actually a little bit taller. Maybe like a quarter of an inch. And because of the hip, the, the shoulder pivot, the torso they used isn't as beefy. Even though the back is pretty similar. That has to be different though because of the, I just noticed the paint, the silver paint on the back of Havoc there. So there you go, there's a little comparison between those two. I'd have to say I like Iceman better than Havoc. This guy's pretty vanilla. Even though this is vanilla, it's got the extra shoulders, which I'm a huge fan of. Compare him to Kitty Pride. Kitty's kind of about like that. That's about right. Looks pretty good. Yeah, they look good together. And lastly, we will compare from this wave with the Phoenix, Jean Grey. Yeah, they fit right well together, I think. They look like they'd be hanging out at Xavier's School for the Gifted. Come on, don't fall over. There we go. Cool. All right. Well, I'm a fan of this figure, guys. I like the extra articulation. I do wish it came with some ice effect of some kind. Um, but, you know, you can't win them all. You, you can try, but you can't always. You can't always get what you want. Let's see if I can get him to throw a punch and blast some ice at the same time. That's how he does it, right? Does the ice blast like this? Something dynamic like this. That looks about right, right? Yeah, you know, sure. Sure, yeah, that looks about right. Alright guys, thanks for joining me for this unboxing of the Juggernaut Wave Iceman. This is going to be it for the Juggernaut Wave for now, only because the other figures are really hard to find. But if you've got a lead on Cable, Rogue, or the head from Wolverine, because this Wolverine was just re-released, uh, let me know. Give me a drop me a line, drop me a DM on Instagram. Uh, my Instagram is at Vern's Hobbies. Look forward to hearing from you, and uh, thanks for joining me. Let's do this. Let's do a little bit of a pivot. Lean back or lean into it. Ooh, lean into it looks good. And uh, yeah, 
Thanks for joining me, guys, and we'll see you next time.